Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video, which I'll make very, very quick, I'm gonna walk through the basics of how to edit list items, whether it's from SharePoint or from Dataverse, etc. But basically gonna walk through how to select an item, show an edit form, update the various properties that you select, and then save those items back to whatever that data source is. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. So we are in Power Apps and we have our initial screen here. Now you can go to your data tab. You'll see I have this Dataverse project management record. This was originally this table, which didn't work very well with the edit functionality. So I just clicked edit or add data. You can go to create new table. And from in this screen, you can add your CSV file. And you're going to want to make sure that you're going to want to make sure that you're updating that and actually following through the prompts because it will give you by default additional fields, which don't initially exist in your CSV file. But now that we have our data source that will work, we are going to use screen one and screen two. So on screen one, I'm just going to add a very, very simple field. So you have a couple of different options. I've seen this look the best and work the best with a gallery of some kind. So we'll type in gallery and choose vertical gallery. And then you can position this however you feel. Choose data and choose your data source. Again, it should work with your SharePoint lists, whatever the case may be. And you'll see our fields here. So everything's working so far. Now we're going to go to screen two. From screen two, we'll click add edit form. And then you'll also choose the exact same data source. Now, once you've done this, we can expand this to be almost the full size of the page. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to assume it's gonna work and just go ahead and add in our save button. So we'll double click, put save, and then on select up top, you'll see that we have false. We're just gonna put submit form, and then in parentheses, the name of this form, which can be found in the tree over here, it is just called form three. And that's all we need for the option here. And you'll see it's selected the form in green, which it shows up here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the fields that we want to display in our form. So when you go to add fields, you can choose whichever ones you want to display, which will also be the fields that you can edit in this case. So we have status, for example, and we can choose any other fields that might be useful. So I'll choose project identifier. And then if we continue to scroll through, we might have a couple of other options. I had one originally that had something related to deliverables in it. So again, you could choose deliverable counts, but basically these are the fields that will be viewed and edited. Now, if you get any errors, especially if you're submitting through Dataverse, in some cases, it might be a field that didn't initially exist. So for example, this one here, I don't think was on my initial file. So it's not one that I'm actually going to need. But general ideas, you can typically ignore those. And if you want, again, you just kind of update and add your fields through here. I'll just remove this one because I know it's a problematic field. So now we have this these fields, but we need to make sure that the form is connected to the right items. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the form, select properties, go to advanced, and then we are going to scroll through. And what you're looking for is the item option. And this is just going to be connected to gallery three. So we're going to type in gallery and you can choose three, and then we're going to hit period selected. Basically what this is going to do is connect this field or this form to whatever has been selected previously. So if we go to screen one and hit preview, we can choose this canceled option. And when we select it, nothing will happen because we haven't chosen what it needs to do. But if we go to the second page, it should update because that's what's currently kind of like cached essentially. So the last thing left to do is we'll select this gallery and then we'll choose on select and you can scroll through to find that it should be, I think in alphabetical order, we'll choose on select and we'll type in navigate. And then in parentheses, we'll choose whatever screen has our field or our form. And then you can type in S and choose your screen transition option. And then that's all you need to do. So now we'll click play. And now we're gonna choose the fourth one down and you'll see we have a new identifier. So let's add in a couple of numbers and then a couple of numbers and hit save. Now you can edit these values later 
or the specific criteria, but I'm just gonna keep it as is. So when I click save, I can now close this preview and now we can see if everything worked as expected. So when we go to this screen, if we choose this option here, or if we choose the just the actual gallery, you'll see we have our on select, but if we choose items, we can view our project management record, our table itself, and we can see those values actually updated. So you can see we have in progress 11 up here, which is this one. So we can go try to edit this one now. And we'll, instead of five, put 515, and instead of 100, we'll add a couple more zeros. And then we can go back to screen one. There's multiple ways to check your data source, but basically what we're just looking for is when we select this and choose this table, you'll see that it's now updated with 515 and one with a bunch of zeros. So again, this should work with multiple data sources and options, but this is just a high level overview. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any comments in the comment box below, and I will see you all in the next video.